So we decided to come here to Hearts Cove Trailhead and do some hiking. It is such a beautiful area. Look at all the ferns. That's amazing. Oh wow. The land has eroded right there. That tree looks like it's getting ready to fall down. The view is awesome though. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? This is a day use area only. No overnight parking. Pack it in. Pack it out. Here's some information. No camping and no fires. This is Hearts Cove Trail. It's about three miles. This trail takes you past the Cliff Creek and into the Neskowin Crest Research Area. And it ends in a grassy meadow with no beach access. It says that the first half mile is very steep. Welcome to Hearts Cove Trail, number 1303, 2.7 miles to the meadow. And this is just a hiker's trail. No bikes or other vehicles. It is a narrow path. So yeah, you probably wouldn't want to ride your bike through here. And since it is steep, that's probably why they don't want you to take any vehicles on this. Oh yeah. And it has some sharp turns in it. Wow, we're going straight downhill. Having complications, Mumu. Good girl. So, the group has changed their mind. They don't want to hike this trail because it's very steep. Half a mile steep, so... Um, then we'd have to come back up it. There's an easier trail about a mile back, so we're gonna go check that one out real quick. Time to descend down into the beautiful madness. We had initially planned to do the one mile hike and now we're doing the 2.7. So not sure if we're gonna complete this trail since it's about six miles back and forth. Um, we'll just see how we do. It's beautiful though. Just beautiful. <laughs> Mumu likes it. Mumu in the lead. So the trail is lined with just big huge ferns. Hey Sophie. <laughs> It's so weird with the whole group. I know. Hold on, Mumu. Look how steep that is down there. Look how tall this tree is right here. And look at the root system. This is an old tree that is growing out. Oop, there it falls. I don't want the tree to fall on me. But yeah. Oh yeah, it is falling. Or it is growing out of an old fallen tree. That's different. Continue downhill. Some of these trees are covered with so much moss, they look like a Sasquatch. a couple of them going up this dead decaying tree. We're still on the trail. I'm not sure how far we've gotten in yet, but I can feel that we're still going downhill, so we haven't made the half mile mark yet. I'm not sure where, when we will. Deep, deep. <laughs> oh, there goes a rock. Water source. No, Jimmy found it. That's pretty cool in there. It's so dark and creepy. Oh, it goes way back in there. I hear the water down there, but it's so thick with like vines and ferns and shrubbery, you can't see anything. 
really thick. But if you look, you can barely see the water or the river flowing. There it is right there. Careful, because it gets really narrow. It looks like some people have slid off the path. Yeah. So you have a steep embankment right here at the edge. But it's really wet through here. Be careful, Mumu. It's really muddy through here. I'm going so slow it said my workout is paused. Okay. That was muddy. We made it to the water. Yay. And the bottom of the mountain. So I believe we've been about a half a mile. Beautiful water. It was like, oh, I love it. One of our favorite sounds. So actually I was wrong. I just checked my hiking app and it says we've been 0.8 of a mile. This tree looks like it just broke in half. Definitely not been cut down. Wonder where the other half is. Down there somewhere I'm sure. Oh yeah I see it. It's way down there. Some of the trees are starting to get much bigger. Like those two right there are huge. Wow. Oh neat. Look at those mushrooms. Looks like alien ships. The never ending cycle. One tree dies, another one grows. <laughs> Sing it! <laughs> Look how big this fallen tree is. There's the stump right there. I guess the piece they had to cut out of the way. Look through the trees. You can see the ocean. So we're almost there, I think. I'm not sure. Ugh. Continue on. So we've made it to the Nesquin Crest Research Natural Area. Look at this tree right here. It's the remains of a 250-year-old Cedica spruce that survived the earlier fires. Wow. So we're missing one person, and that would be Kelly. Her and Sophie decided to stay at the bridge that we were just at and uh, wait for us there or either head back towards the vehicles. But we found a little sitting area, so we're going to take a break. <laughs> That's huge. Look at that fern moving. <laughs> That's cool. Two trees become one big one. Yay, more mud. Mumu, go around. Don't drink the muddy water. Go, go. She's like, I'll walk through it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my goodness, this is nasty. Ugh. Okay, I made it. Look, Mumu. That's pretty. That's a pretty narrow path right here, though. This is why the path is so wet. It's right by a stream. Well, where does it, uh, do we have to cross over here? I guess so. Doing? Definitely doesn't get easy. Okay, so we have to cross here to get to the, oops, sorry. Okay, well, some guy just ran through here, so it made it look easy. <laughs> I'm going to, yeah, he kind of stumbled a little bit, so. Okay, oh, these rocks are slippery. I really wouldn't want to run through here. He's lucky he didn't break an ankle. All right. Okay, next. There we go. Uh. <laughs> That's funny that the stream runs right through the path. Okay, we made it. Back on dry land. Ooh, the light is coming through the trees. How pretty. Look at that. Wow, that's cool. Awesome. Not cool to climb, though. Uh, Lord. Oh, you sneezy. Whoa. Uh, okay. I made it. Ooh. It's a big tree in the way. 
<sighs> Ooh. Good girl. You go, climber. All right. <sighs> We're traipsing through the jungles of South America. Ooh. Psych, we're still on the hike. Oh my God, we got about a half a mile to go. Almost there. It's getting thick now. <sighs> thick, thick, thick. <sighs> Look at the plants growing on the top of that dead tree. It's awesome. Welcome to the jungle. We have fun and games. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, finally, we made it to the clearing. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's amazing. Look, it's a whole bunch of raspberries. Workout pause. Thank you, workout. Look at those weird spiky fruit things on the vine. Not sure what those are. I'm sure someone out there knows what they are. But they do grow on this vine. There's a closer shot of it. Weird. All right, well, first we had to come through the forest, then the jungle, and now we're going through the grasslands. Well, we made it. Look at that view. This is a view that not everybody gets to see unless you hike the three miles to come see it. It's just amazing. I hear sea lions in the distance. I don't know if you can hear them, and also the waves crashing. Look at that cove way down there. That's beautiful. I would definitely have to say this is one of the best views that I've seen at the end of a hike. Just wonderful. Amazing. Wow, look at the rocks out there. There's two tunnels in that one. What you think, Moomoo? And a grassy spot for you to lay down in. Not sure if you can see it, but that's the rock that all the sea lions are on. I believe they're tan in color. I can't really see. Definitely breathtaking. Well, I'm just gonna relax here for a little bit before I have to hike three miles back. Ugh, I'm kind of dreading it, but this view is awesome. Well, we have to make the 2.7 mile hike back. Oh, I'm already tired. <laughs> I'm just thinking of that. We're on our way back up and it is hard. Like really, really hard. So we're having to take breaks. Ugh. Only probably about 0.7 of a mile though. We've been doing pretty well. Can't do it anymore. <laughs> Lord. There's two more switchbacks and then we're back to the vehicles. Oh my goodness. We'll just live here for a while. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna make a camp here. <laughs> just call it a day. Oh my god. Okay, just two switchbacks to go and then we're gonna be at the top. I'm exhausted. <sighs> oh my god, I look up and look what that is. That is a huge oh, it's a slug. slug. Wow. I thought it was a leech at first. I was like, what is a leech doing on a tree? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Scary looking. It's very alien-like. Okay. Bye, Mr. Slug. <sighs> Almost there. Am I sweating? <laughs> I hate sweating. Oh my god, I'm drenched. <laughs> I'm drenched. All right, we are in the last switchback, <laughs> and then we make it back to the parking lot. This has been an exhausting trip. Mental note, don't 
do trails that go all the way downhill first because then after you've hiked all that stuff, you gotta hike uphill. Did I say I was exhausted? <laughs> all right, we reached the last switchback. Now all we have to do is go up this hill and around and we are home free. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I can't take it. <sighs> last hill, thankfully. We came all that way. Oh, God, that scared me. There was someone right there. I don't remember someone being down there. Anyways, so, yeah, we came from all the way down there. My God, why did this have to be so steep? But I see the cars up there. So oh, steep. Oh. Lily's doing awesome. She's a champ. She's like, come on, people. Good job, Moo Moo. You did awesome. My God, we made it. I'm exhausted. I can't take it no more. Cue the outro. I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me today. Hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and onward bound. Get out there and do some hiking.